Dabbing can be a bit different than smoking, and I've been having a lot more people ask me how to get into dabbing on my Twitch streams and on my TikTok. And in addition to some tutorials I have on here, I figured I'd make this list with some basic do's and don'ts of dabbing to help get you nice and high. There's definitely a lot of do's and don'ts of dabbing, so if I missed anything on this list, leave me a comment and let me know your favorite do's and don'ts of dabbing. So first thing I want to say is do a dab. It's called a dab. While it's fun to do big dabs from time to time, you want to do a dab. It's called a dab because you're supposed to do a small amount. I've had my share of Globber Downey Juniors and Globber De Niro's and some big old smooth Glob Thomases in my day. But you really want to get into the habit of doing a dab. You're going to be more efficient with your oil and you're going to get high off of less. There's going to be less waste involved. Most people doing huge dabs have quite a bit of waste. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to do a one gram dab tonight live on my Twitch stream. Tune in after 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm also going to eat a thousand milligrams of edibles. But I'm going to do a dab that's way too big and there's going to be a little bit of waste there. Tune in. Don't miss out. Next tip is do use a small piece. I just made a video about this a couple days ago. But smaller pieces are better for dabbing. You're going to get a more powerful powerful, flavorful hit, and you can get even bigger hits with a smaller rig. Don't use your bong and don't use any piece that you've smoked flour out of recently. If you do dabs out of a piece that had bong hits out of it or flour hits out of it, they're going to be gross. Your dabs are going to be disgusting. Another do is cold starts. Unless you're using something like a turp slurper, most nails do way better with a cold start. Cold start means put your wax in your banger first and then heat it up. Instead of using thermometers or timers, overheating your nail and waiting for it to cool off and then dabbing at the right moment, just do cold starts. It's much better. It's easier. And everybody that I've talked to that's legitimately given both types of dabs a try says cold starts are way easier easier way better no brainer why wouldn't you do cold starts some nails you can't do a cold start slurper you can but it's not ideal and most e-rigs are designed to do a cold start but if you're not using an e-rig and you're using a torch my next tip is do torch your nail don't torch your rig. Some people try to hit every angle on the nail they can with the flame and they end up torching their rig or applying a lot of heat to their rig. Your glass is a bit more fragile than your quartz nails are going to be. So try not to apply too much heat there. You don't want to torch your glass. You just want to torch your nail. This will help you prevent weakening your glass and having it break randomly. The next tip is do low temp dabs. Don't do hot dabs. Years ago, everybody's torching their nail till it's red and then waiting the moment it's not red to dab off it. That's way too fucking hot. Don't do that shit. Dabbing is different than smoking flour and when you do really hot dabs you're trying to make it like a bong hit you're trying to make it a quick short burst of smoke instead of a nice long slow pull of vapor do low temp dabs don't do hot dabs experiment with lower and lower temperatures on your dab try to drag it out and get the most flavor you can that's actually going to get you higher your dab should take more than 30 seconds the whole vaporization process if you put a nice little 20th of a gram on a nail at a proper temperature is going to take 30 40 50 seconds or so to vaporize properly you're not going to get your whole pull in less than 10 seconds. Stop dabbing too hot. Stop thinking it's a one and done type thing. A real good dab takes a little bit of time. In addition to that, do inhale slowly. Your dab should take a little bit more time than a bong rip. Your vapor is going to be produced at a slower rate than smoke is going to be produced. So you want to pull that in slowly. The harder you pull on a dab or the harder you pull on a concentrate hit, the more air you're getting in your lungs and the less potent your hit is essentially. So you want to pull nice and slow. And on a lot of rigs, if you pull too hard, you're just going to suck wax into your stem. You're going to suck wax into your atomizer. You're going to mess something up or get something dirtier quicker by pulling too hard. Pull low and slow. You should be pulling basically just enough to get the vapor to pull towards you. You don't want it to stream off your nail. You want it to go into your rig. Next tip goes along with the other two. Don't hold your hit. I've been at sessions with my Puffco where I hand somebody a dab that's going to be vaporizing for a minute and they pull in once for 10 seconds and they hold on to it like they're trying to get more value out of the vapor or something. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your breath. Well, you're not wasting it. You're holding it. But just keep hitting your dab. Just keep pulling it. Inhale it. Exhale it. Inhale it. Exhale it till it's done. Don't pull in a small portion of that and hold on to it telling yourself you're getting higher. You want to keep vaporizing your dab. You want to get it all. If you're doing a real nice low temp dab, it's going to take over 30 seconds for you to get the whole hit. So take your time and try to get it all. My next tip is after you dab, clean your nail. Clean your nail after every hit. Most of my hits, I use a dry Q-tip because I do cold starts. I don't want to put ISO on there because then that ISO is still going to be there when I put my next dab. But all my nails stay clean. I don't torch them too hot. So I always have a little bit of liquid left to wipe off. Nothing chars on, nothing burns on. You don't want to torch your nail 
nail clean, like some people think. I've heard so many people say, oh yeah, you just torch it off. But if you've ever done that in practice, you don't torch anything off. You burn everything onto your nail and then you just get a shittier and shittier nail every time you do that. So wipe it after every hit. Q-tips are like a few dollars for a thousand of them. Just wipe off any excess oil after your hit. You should have a little bit. It shouldn't burn anything onto your nail. But keep your nail clean. That's going to keep your dabs nice and tasty. So my next tip is a little bit of a safety tip. Pay attention to the placement of your nail and your torch. If you're running a torch like this for 20, 30 seconds, this whole metal part is going to be hot. They do make some safety cages and you can get some stuff that attaches to it. But if you don't have something like that, just be very careful. I've seen a lot of people just reaching over, pressing their forearm against it, reaching to grab something, touching it for a split second, and then you just have a little scar on your arm. So be careful, be mindful of where your torch is, especially if you just used it. I like to put it a little bit out of the way where I'm not going to accidentally bump it. And same with your nail. You don't want to accidentally touch your nail for even a split second because sometimes it's seven, eight hundred, a thousand degrees if you're doing glowies. Another tip you may have heard in another one of my videos, but sip before you rip. You want to stay hydrated during your dab sessions. Dab hits can take a little bit longer than a flower hit, so sometimes that's a little bit more of a test or a challenge on your throat. Sometimes the first portion of the dab, the first 20, 30 seconds is nice and smooth, but I just keep pulling in more and more vapor and I'm noticing my throat dries out a little more. Keep water on hand, stay nice and hydrated for your dab sesh. Also, if you're at a session and you didn't bring any concentrate and somebody's offering you some of theirs and you go to scoop some of it, take the biggest fucking scoop of that shit that you can and assert your dominance on them. Let them know that they brought the dabs for you. I'm just fucking around, but be polite in people's sessions. Don't overdo somebody else's dabs. Try to throw down if you can, if you're at a sesh with other people and match the quality. If I'm like, hey, bro, I'm bringing over some live raws and you're like, sick, I got some carts to throw down. I might not show up. I don't know. I hope this list of tips help you. If there's anything I missed, feel free to leave me a comment. Other people are going to go through and read the comments and see if there's some additional tips that they can bring to their next sesh. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch. We go live after 9 p.m. Eastern for a smoke sesh. And tonight, I'm going to be getting so lit with a one gram dab, thousand milligrams of edibles. I might post the video of the hit on my Instagram because they'll restrict it if I post it here. So follow Coupons420 on Insta. And if you want to hear about my favorite concentrate consistencies, check out this tier list here. The consistencies are sometimes inconsistent with themselves, but these are my favorites when I find a good one. Peace out, my dudes.